It's one of the most famous slogans of any American city. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But tonight, what the mob may have intended to stay in a Vegas lake has now begun floating to the surface as a popular recreational area just east of Sin City dries up in a drought. It is known as a water wonderland, crystal clear and full of fish. Lake Mead is the man-made drinking water source for 25 million people. But lately, it's been stricken by a terrible drought. Coyotes roam a shoreline now haunted by a hidden past and sordid questions. Six skeletons have surfaced, and so have stories of missing mob victims from the decades. Last May, one body found in a barrel with a bullet hole in the head, clothing from the 70s or 80s. There are a couple of folks who disappeared uh, uh, at, a, at a very crucial time uh, and very stressful time for the, for the outfit in Las Vegas. John L. Smith has been investigating the Chicago outfit for decades here in Las Vegas and is a well-known author on organized crime. Smith met the I-team at Lake Mead about 30 miles from this infamous gambling strip that was controlled by Chicago gangsters in the 70s and 80s, right when several mob-linked men vanished. At the Stardust Hotel especially, they were never found. Uh, Jay Vandermark being one, Johnny Pappas being another. Vandermark, a friend of Smith's family, worked here at the mob-connected Stardust as slot manager. And Chicago native Pappas worked at an outfit-run casino right on Lake Mead. Both disappeared in 1976 when the water level was normal. Now it's evaporating. That is what caused the problem. Lake Mead used to be as high as that water line across the mountainside. Then a drought caused water levels to fall more than 150 feet. And as the water level fell, the bodies started to rise. They would have boats on the lake for celebrities, high rollers, people who are willing to pay for it. Uh, so there was always this connection with Lake Mead as a recreation area. And then eventually Lake Mead is the water supply. And now the water supply is dropping, so the bodies are bobbing up. University of Nevada, Las Vegas history professor Michael Green tonight tells the I-team he suspects Chicago mob figures are the most likely waterborne remains and that there are probably more to come. The lake's dropping more, we're going to find more bodies. Or the lake is filling up again. We have to dive in there and find the bodies. In August, DNA revealed one set of bones belonged to this boater who drowned in 2002 and disappeared. No outfit connections. But what about the others? Who would order lake murders? One name surfaces frequently. If you ask the FBI back in the 70s and 80s, they attributed all kinds of murders to Tony Spilatro. They believed that he was killing people or having people killed on a regular basis. Do you have any fears at all for your life? Ant Spilatro, seen here with this reporter as he bailed out of Cook County Jail in 1983, was himself murdered a few years later and found with his brother buried in this Indiana cornfield. At the Mob Museum in Vegas, Anthony Spilatro commands several displays, including the handcuffs he once wore. Nobody's really connected all the dots yet and all these missing figures from that era. But, uh, you know, maybe these bodies coming up at Lake Mead will, will reveal something. Authorities in Las Vegas declining to discuss the corpses found at Lake Mead, and it is possible some won't be identified. For some, the larger environmental problem of a major lake drying up is more significant than a body count. But for law enforcement, identifying victims, motives, and killers is the only focus. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.